Peter Barlas here, cardiologist. Now, many of you know what heart stents are, or you might yourself have had one or more stents placed. Well, have you ever seen what they look like before they go into the heart? Well, let's have a look in today's video. Stents are implanted in millions of patients. And in fact, the stent video that I posted a little while ago has got more than 2 million views. So it certainly has shown me that there is a great thirst for information for people to learn about what these stents are, what they do, how safe are they, and so forth. And when you have a stent, you're in a cardiac cath lab, you're lying on the table, you're often sleepy, been given sedation, and you wake up and you're being told, yes, we've placed a stent or multiple stents to treat your lockage. I wanted to share with the audience of Heart Matters what the stent unboxing process essentially is all about. Now the stents are in the cath lab, so when your doctor will ask for one, they will come from cupboards that we have and there are multiple stents. And here's a selection of a few stents here. But these stents come in various sizes, namely the diameter and the length. So they are different. There are various diameters and lengths. And you can see here, we've got uh, a sample here, 4.5 millimeters by 28 millimeters. Another stent here, 2.75 by 28 millimeters, 2.24 by 24, and a five millimeter by 28 millimeter. Now, they come in various diameters. Normally the smallest diameter would be around 2.25 millimeters to treat an artery that's quite small. And then we've got stents around that five millimeter mark in arteries that are large. And the, the average stent size is, you know, around that three, 3.5 millimeter diameter stent. And the lengths can vary. The lengths vary depending on the nature of the blockage and how much plaque there is. The stents can be as short as about eight to nine millimeters, but can be as long as 48 millimeters. That's almost five centimeters of stent. And that all depends on the nature of the plaque that is causing the problem. When we need to use longer stents than that to treat a longer area, well, we have to overlap the stents and put one stent inside the other to get that length that we need to treat the problem. When your doctor finds the problem and asks for a stent, the nurse will actually bring out a stent from the cupboard and it comes in a box like one of these. Now, each of these boxes is sterilized and I'll go through a bit of an unboxing as to what actually is inside and to give you a glimpse of the stent itself. So we can see here, we'll open up this stent here, which is a Synergy. It's one of the um, companies Boston Scientific make this one. It's a 2.75 millimeter diameter by 28 millimeters. And there's a bit of packaging involved in stents. So they are, let's have a look. So inside, so there's a box. And inside we've got the package that contains the stent. And we've also got some information here, product information about the stent itself. Now, this, as I said, is pre-sealed and has been sterilized and produced in the manufacturing plant. And all the information here, including serial numbers, are located in the front. Now, when you open this, The stent comes like this essentially. And it's a plastic sheath. Well, the whole uh, delivery system is about almost one and a half meters long. And that's wound up in this little package here. And there's some information here that we use to guide us as to what pressures we can expand the stent with when we're inflating the stent. Now we can take it out. So on this end here, we have where we connect something called an in deflator. And the in deflator is a tool 
that we use to actually blow up the balloon or pump the balloon up from outside and that gets attached here and you can see here it's a bit of a wire so that's the stent here at the tip and it comes with a stylet and a plastic outer coating that covers the stent itself so we'll take this off and we're left with the stent now that's the stent there now you probably think is there a stent actually there well yes the stent is what we call crimped so the stent is actually crimped on the balloon so everything's been compressed down so we can actually introduce it into the body into the heart and the crimping process actually means that the stent can be compressed down to make it as thin as possible so we can actually deliver it through our catheters and the catheter that we normally use is about you know two millimeters in diameter so we're talking about very very small catheters that we need to introduce these to and we need to make sure we can get it down into the artery well then you can imagine if we have to put a five millimeter stent and our catheter is only two millimeters in diameter that we use to introduce the stent in well how does it actually work well the stents are actually crimped they're compressed after they're manufactured onto a balloon so that crimping process means that they can be shrunken down to the smallest size possible to make it as thin as possible to allow us to pass say a five millimeter stent through a two millimeter tube and then expand it to five millimeters inside the artery once we pass this stent through we then use the indeflator device to actually expand the stent at the area of narrowing and as we've talked about the stents come in various sizes and they are made of different materials depending on the manufacturer traditionally they've been made of stainless steel but more uh, recent iterations have various types of alloys platinum chromium cobalt chromium and these alloy materials metallic materials actually help give us the strength that we need to keep an artery open there are obviously newer iterations of you know resorbable or polymer or plastic types of stents that are certainly not in widespread use and are experimental and we're still undertaking many research studies to look at the role of these particular stents so hopefully you found that useful and interesting i think it's probably one of the world's first unboxing videos of a stent box and i thought it'd be relevant because many of my patients have had stents many of the audience of heart matters have actually had a stent but just to give you a bit of an insight as to what goes on before that goes into the body so thanks for all the support of the channel until the next video bye for now